Hi and welcome to another My Tech Buddy tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can use FlexClip for creating videos and content. So let's dive straight in and take a look. Okay, so here I am in FlexClip, flexclip.com, and you can start any project from scratch. You can see I've got a couple of projects here already, or you can go and you can use some of their many, many different templates. Uh, and you can see there's lots of different examples here all the way through from intros and outros, ads, education and training, right the way through to TikTok and things like that. Okay, so lots of great options there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these examples just to get ourselves started. And I'm going to use this webinar template to begin with. Now I can preview this template. I can favorite it if I want to. And then I can customize. And I can choose between timeline mode or storyboard mode, depending on what we want to do with it. I'm gonna go with timeline mode. Okay, so we're loading our project in. We can see it's already got that information in there from the demo, but we can add our own files as well. Either record them using our screen or the webcam. We can um, bring them in from our phones, or we can also upload local files. So I can click on any aspect here and I can edit. So we've got this webinar coming up, um, but let's change the title of it. So it's not going to be a webinar about, it's going to be around video editing, okay, um, in the cloud. And I can choose whether I want to play around with the different colors and the different text options and things like that. I can change the blur amount. I can change pretty much anything I want. Text size, uh, just make that a little bit bigger. And that will do for this first part. So that's the first aspect, and this is the ambient chill background music. Now, if I click on that, I've got all sorts of options, including changing the volume. I can fade it in and fade it out. So I might have a fade in of, say, one second on this one. I can clip it at any point. I can cut it. I can copy it, or I can get rid of it. Okay, so that's the first part. I'm now going to move on to this second bit. Um, so we don't want how to grow. We want how to... Uh, and let's change the grow there. So edit. And then we're going to do this one. We can change that to video online on any device. So we're going to use that as the option. I'm going to make the text there a bit larger. Let's go up to 72 on that. And I can just click and drag and move it around exactly the same as we would with any normal text. And we've still got the formatting options here as well. We can change the spacing and all those sorts of things. I can also hide this out of the way if I want to, but I could bring in my own files. So how do I edit video online and on any device? We're happy with that bit at the moment. Then we're going to jump onto the third part here and then we've got the best speakers. Okay, so let's just change that and we can change that by presented by and I'm going to change the content here. So I am going to, um, in this case, just have a look at the photos. And, and I'm going to just use some stock people for this example. So there we go. Uh, we're going to add that one in. Ooh. So that's added in full page. And we can see it's added in a completely new frame. So I don't want to do that. So I can just control Z and go back to this page here. I can click on this individual and I can go replace and replace with the, there we go. And if I want to, I can adjust that so I can change the exposure. I can change the color, the brightness, the saturation and all those sorts of things. I can add a filter. So I might want it to be a grayscale, for example. So that's that first one. I'm going to grab a second one as well. Go back to here. We can now select this image. We can choose to replace. He's now here ready for me to use. And I might want to get rid of the third person altogether because there's not going to be a third person. 
Okay, so I'm going to add those in there. I'm going to detach that background. So the background photo, I'm going to replace it with this one again. And I'm going to set it as background. And then what I need to do is just move things around to fit. So I'm just going to tweak this slightly. There we go. And that's not going to be John. That's going to be Jill. So we've got Jill in there. We now want to move on. So we can just grab our timeline and we can move along and do it this way. And this is all really, really simple. We've now got John. We don't want John. So again, I'm going to detach the background. I'm going to replace him with this one here. I'm going to set as background. And once again, I'm just going to um, slightly tweak the background version of this. And this is going to be Alan. Now that's a bit small, so I can just choose to size that up a little bit. There we go. So we've got Alan Marschich. He's an industry expert. Might want to just move that over slightly. Maybe because of that, just shrink the text down. Go that way and then just drag that whole section because it's all grouped. You can see I can ungroup it at any point as well. So very, very similar to lots of other platforms. But what I really like about um, this particular one, we don't want this section, so we're going to get rid of it, is the fact that actually, even though you're creating video, it's absolutely free. Unlike many, there are no watermarks included. So all we've got to do, we can play that back, obviously. We can check we're happy with it. Okay, we get the idea. And then we can just click Save, which will save our progress. At the moment, it's untitled. So I'm just going to call this one Promo, actually. I'm going to click Save again. You can see I can include GIFs as well, which is great. And we can change all sorts of different backgrounds. But I can just go to export. I can choose any of those particular qualities. I'm going to choose a 720 just because it's a little bit quicker. And it takes you to this page where it processes each of the scenes. You've got the option to embed it or to share it. You can upload it directly to your Google Drive or, or to your Dropbox or to um, YouTube. So that's all exported. You can see it's added itself down there as an MP4, automatically downloaded. And I can now use the embed code to put it into a website. I can use my share settings. You've also got a whole load of other tools while we're waiting for that to process. So you've got slideshow makers, meme generators, GIF makers, screen recorders. You can convert existing videos. You can add music, add text, add watermarks. Pretty much do whatever you want with those tools uh, and all sorts of different examples available to you. And your templates is a, is a huge range, including lots and lots of that stock media. There we go. So here's my promo video. And I've got the option now. I can add a description if I want. I can also download it, share it, copy the link, embed it or delete the sharing link altogether. So I can do any number of those directly. I can use the copied link or I can get the embed code and drop that straight into a website. So really, really simple, really easy to use and completely free.